Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy AA Nine Skills and welcome. Welcome to this 12,000 FIFA points pack opening highlights. And I did a live com of the entire 12,000 coins that I was opening and it was 40 minutes long. But I, there was so much I want to talk about that I decided, you know what? I'm not going to live comment. I'll take the live com voice out and I'll re talk about it. So I cut out all the highlights of uh, all the good players I got were players. Well, when I say good players, it's players that sell for. Um, a good amount of money on FIFA right now. Now, I did get pretty lucky in this pack opening, guys. So, as you guys are watching the players I got, um, I'm going to talk about a few different things. I'm going to talk about FIFA 14, my first, kind of my first impression. Not really my first impression, but just what I feel about it now. Look, right there, I pick up Sanchez, baby. I thought Sanchez would sell for more now, too, but he's not really selling for as much as I thought he was. I got pretty excited when I got him. But I want to talk about how I... You know, now that I got the actual uh, FIFA 14, the actual game, the full copy of it, I want to talk about a few different things. I want to talk about the goods and I want to talk about the bads. So we'll jump into it first of all and we'll talk about bads because bads are one thing you just want to get out of the way. Some bad things about FIFA 14. Um, you know, the early release was freezing a lot for me. And when it was freezing, I was thinking to myself, damn, yo, you know, I'm taking losses that I shouldn't be taking. Um, you know, I'm, I, the game is always freezing whenever I'm trying to fix my team. It was kind of annoying, but I thought it was just an early release thing. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, they'll fix this. But when I picked up my early or my the hard copy of FIFA, um, what, two nights ago or last night or whatever it was, when I picked it up... Um, the game continues to freeze and it's annoying because i have this really really good team i put together that i'll probably do a squad builder on in the future but i was 10 wins zero losses zero ties with this team i did very very good with the team my record was 10 and 0 and i finally took my first loss and it was a legit loss i played a, a guy that was a pretty good player and he beat me with two headers i believe it was and, and i ended up losing so i lost my first uh, legit game look falco i get the the beast colombian baby and he's part of the team that i'm talking about that I went on this 10 game winning streak so he I was actually really happy to get him because he sells for a lot and he's just a player I wanted to use I wanted to build a team around him because I felt like the way the game was he's gonna be a very very strong player and well it's working out just the way I thought um but anyways so I was 10 wins I finally took my first legit loss I was a bit salty about it but you know it was okay one loss in 10 games not bad so I go into my next game right after that and well it happened uh 30 minutes into the game look Bam! Di Maria, baby! <laughs> I'm telling you, I got so lucky with these pack openings. Um, but I go into my next match right after losing my first legit loss, and booyah! It froze. It froze, and I took a disconnect loss because of it freezing. So now my record is 10 wins, 0 draws, 2 losses, which is still a good record, but it's very, very annoying to have to take a loss that isn't really your loss. And it, 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 it's, it's almost a bit heartbreaking because a record is... The record's not everything in FIFA, but a record's, you know, something that... Sometimes when I'm playing hard, I want to have a good record. You know, my main account, I really want to have a good record. And 10-1 and one was a decent record for me. And now having another loss, it's still a decent record. But it sucks because it's not your fault. So, downfall, it freezes. The second thing that is a bit annoying is how OP finesse shots are. But at the same time, I think it's kind of cool. Like, a lot of people are going to complain about finesse shots and how... Uh, look, Cavani, Cavani, Falcon and Cavani. Yes, I built a Liga 1 team that is amazing went 10 and 0 with them finally took a legit loss so i'm 10 and 1 with them right now so anyways finesse shots are very annoying when someone hits you with a 30 long finesse 30 yard long a 30 yarder uh you know finesse shot from far away you're very annoying but then when you do it it's very like you just get so happy the smile on your face is amazing so Finesse shots has his downfalls. I think I think if anything, keepers need to be boosted up a little bit because keepers are a bit under power. Like just finesse shots are so powerful. And I think if they up the keepers up a little bit, all that would go away. So finesse shots and um, the game freezing are probably the downfalls of FIFA 14. The upfalls is, or the ups about FIFA 14, the upfalls, what the hell does that even mean? But the ups of FIFA 14 is a lot, you know. I actually like FIFA 14 more than FIFA 13. And I'm going out on a on a on a ledge saying that. I know a lot of people are like, yo, skills, you're tripping. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about saying that. I enjoy FIFA 14. I'm gonna tell you why I enjoy FIFA 14. FIFA 13 was really, really contain heavy. Everyone could contain and you could win games if you knew how to contain. And if you ran five defenders and contained, it was so hard for someone to score on you. It was so realistic. It was so much like an actual football game. It was annoying and sometimes even boring. I did not have fun playing FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. And you guys probably could tell that by my channel. I said it so much that I wasn't enjoying Ultimate Team. But FIFA 14 with the finesse shots, with the crazy goals, with with 
attackers being so powerful and defenders and goalkeepers feeling so underpowered, it makes it feel like a video game again. It makes you feel like you're having fun when you're playing FIFA. So for that reason alone is why I'm enjoying FIFA 14 so much. You're scoring a lot of goals. It just feels fun. I know it's not the most realistic thing. I mean, you're not seeing real life. You don't see finesse shots from as far as you're getting scored in FIFA 14. But I know it's not realistic, but it's a video game. Do we really need the video game to be realistic? Think about it. The game that sold the most games uh, uh, this year is GTA, right? Crazy numbers of sold copies and that's not realistic. You can't go around shooting people while well, you can, but you're probably either going to get killed or you're going to jail. Uh, so things that aren't realistic seem to be funner and people seem to enjoy more. So I don't know. I find FIFA 14 very, very fun. My first, um, you know, impression of the first uh, playing the hard copy, the actual full game, uh, was a great thing, man. I enjoyed it, and a lot of I got a lot of like, you know, a lot of YouTubers are like, "Yo, you're crazy," but I really, really enjoy FIFA 14. I think it's a fun game, and I think it's bringing the fun back into FIFA. So that's my opinion on it. They need to fix the lag, the, the 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 freezing, yo. That needs to, EA. Come on, man, sort that out. That's ridiculous. Hey, you need to sort it out, you mother suckers. Uh, but yeah, besides that, plus packs. I've been getting so lucky in packs, so I like FIFA 14. I'm gonna be honest with you. We end off our 12,000 points with Petr Cech, and there you go, man. We get Cech, we get Falcone, we get Cavani, uh, we got Sanchez, we got Di Maria, we got some solid, solid players. So that's my opinion on FIFA 14. I'm enjoying the game right now. There is some things that need to be fixed. The freezing, the finesse shots, EA can drop a patch and maybe fix all that. I hope they do that. But besides that, I'm really, really enjoying the game. Let me know in the comments down below how, you how you're how you feeling about the game. And also, let me know what the best player in the pack you got is so far. With that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to drop a like um, if you guys enjoyed. And, and as it helps the channel so much right now, with Subbox being the way they've been broken lately, likes helps so much likes are helping youtubers big time right now so if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content i'm your boy double a nine skills and i want to thank you guys for watching let me know if you enjoy fifa booyah baby i'll see you soon